So Boy Meets Girl is a romantic comedy and a relationship comedy uh, featuring two sets of families and Leo and Judy. I play Leo. Uh, Leo is um, uh, an everyman who struggles to maintain a job. He's been sacked from, I think, three or four jobs when we first meet him. Um, has never really held down uh, a relationship for any length of time and meets Judy in a bar as a result of his brother trying to take him out to get a date. Um, it's a really nice serendipitous moment how they meet and fascinating to see how their relationship progresses with the, the sort of narratives of all the family as well. And Judy, who is his date, is uh, quite an unusual date. Yeah. And, but he doesn't react as most people would um, to be told that his date's a transgender woman. No, he takes it, he takes it um, really well, you know, remarkably well. Um, but I think that's sort of key to his nature and that he is quite an easygoing, um, laid-back guy in terms of workplace, too laid-back, which is why he gets sacked all the time. Um, but, yeah, I think it's a really endearing quality that he, that he has as a person. It's also a family drama. He's got a fantastic family. Yeah. Mother played by Denise Welsh. Yeah, everyone's Pam. Jody mum. Yeah. How was how filming with Denise? And Brilliant. How would you describe his family? Um, his family are, you know, a sort of um, instantly recognisable, not just northern family, but they are, they are northern, so you can't escape that. But um, they're just an, a really warm family. Can I say something? I wish you would. You see an older woman. I see a teacher. Someone who educate Leo in the finer things. Love, life, sex. Yeah. I think Mum's in shock. I can't believe you just said that. Take it back. Do I have to? Yes. I'll take it back. Mum, just for once, can you try and see the positives? What positives, Leo? Please, give me one positive. They've got their problems, they've got their issues. Um, but they communicate really well together. They've got a really lovely, from the outside in, you'd want to be in that family. And I can see loads of um, similarities between that and my family. And I'm sure everybody will, really. It's hard not to. His mother is worried mo mostly at first about the age gap. Yeah. Um, and doesn't find out about Judy's transgender until a lot later, mm -hmm. I think. Um, is, is that funny to see how she reacts at every stage about the reveal of Judy. Well, I think what's really interesting about the way that this series um, tackles the subject is that I think normally you'd feel that the father would be the person who would react the worst. And what's really interesting is that this flips it on its head and what happens is the father takes it really, really well, like Leo, and it's the mother who initially we sort of worry about how she's going to react, and I think the age gap is there to give us a, a sort of good sort of um, handle on how she might react on something as sort of uncomplicated as an age gap, how she might react when she finds out that Judy is in fact transgender. Um, but I think that's what's really interesting about this, that it, it takes uh, a really important subject, puts it in a really normal setting, and flips a lot of the normal roots on its head. The issue of sex comes into one episode, and uh, how how important do you think that is to, to the comedy? Because we're building up towards that, I'd imagine. Yeah, well, it would be silly to not explore it. You know, it's, it's something that people always um, instantly think about or wish to discuss how it, how it works, you know, in a, in a very crass level. And uh, a lot of uh, TV series or plots in the past that have dealt with transgender issues have been either slightly sort of promiscuous or perhaps a sort of dark revelation at the, at, at the expense of someone. And I think what's really interesting is this, that it's explored really gently through comedy in a, in a really... Uh, understandable way and, and relatable way and I think it demystifies a lot of the stuff surrounding it. Which were your favourite moments to film? Uh, there seems to be quite a lot of fun on set. We had a week in a pub um, which was absolutely brilliant and horrendous. Um, we were filming one scene which was like 
11 or 12 pages long. So we were just locked in a pub for six days and that was a real struggle um, because there was a lot of funny people in the scene. So it was really hard to get any work done. Um, so that I remember that one really fondly. And any scene with Johnny Dixon, I found really hard to get through. And Johnny plays your brother, yeah. who's completely mad cap. Uh, yeah. Those scenes, people are going to just die with laughter. Yeah, I he's think. brilliant. He's really brilliant. And um, it was such fun working with everyone. Um, him in particular, just sort of, sort of, we had a really nice brotherly vibe. And um, yeah, it was a really good laugh.